Hi guys! Welcome back on my channel, Dora Tapalska International Mule Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to create those cute and beautiful butterflies. Check them out on here. Yes, they're very quick and easy uh, for a salon work. And I will show you exactly how to recreate that. Also, thank you so much for all your shares, subscribes and uh, memberships. Uh, so let's start painting those beautiful butterflies. So here we've got the blue butterfly and now I show you how to do a different color. I've got a black tips, they are just pre-made black, but you can use uh, any other color. I think it will look really beautiful too. So I have just buffed the tip and removed the dust and we've got the blue one, so it will be nice to do it in a green as well. I just squeeze out a little bit of paint on my mixing pot. I give you the link in the description of the video as well to the paints and to the mixing pot because I think it's awesome, especially for a one stroke. And then I will be using the one stroke brush, angular brush, to paint the butterfly. And it's so simple um, to do it. So one side of my brush goes into the lighter color and the other side of my brush goes into the darker one. And then I can start mixing those paints. I want to mix them pretty well, so later on I can outline with some white as well. So really decent mixture, almost all going green. And then it's a time to paint the first wing. So because the brush is angle, it's pretty easy. You're starting and then you're going to the top, prelong it. And this way we have painted the first wing. Then paint the one which is on the bottom. So we've got half butterfly and now do the same opposite way. Prelong it. And then give it a little wiggle. So we've got the second wing. And the tiny one which is on the bottom. Okay, so this way we've almost painted a butterfly. Wait for it to dry. If you touch a paint which is wet, you're going to smudge everything and you don't really want that. Uh, so to save the time on the waiting, I'm going to take my micro styler brush number four zero. It's a pretty nice brush for the paints and lots of water in. So lots of water in. Going into my white. And I'm going to paint a little head. So just like a dot. Body. And then the other part. Also, we want to paint some antennas as well. So you're pressing harder with your brush and then almost no touching. So they're nice and thin. So this way we have painted like a cute two antennas. I'm going to clean my brush and then just give it a second go. So dip in my brush, lighter color at the higher point and the darker color on the lower point. Mix it really, really well. And now we can just go over what we have painted. And first of all, it's much easier to see where we're going to paint and we get a much nicer results. So mix the paint well. And don't be scared to lift your hand up. Actually, I find it that if I'm lifting my hand up, I'm getting much better results. Oops. 
One stroke is definitely one of my favorite techniques because it always looks good on the nails. Okay, so the butterfly is almost ready. We can take the fine liner brush and we can add a tiny bit more detail. So I'm just putting lots of water in my brush. And I'm just touching up the edges. And what else I love about the one stroke, that's once we put the top coat, everything pops out even more. Okay, so we've got some green butterfly, we've got some blue one. I just let a couple seconds dry, and then we can go for some purple. So I'm just squeezing out a bit more purple paint. And I show you that one more time, because it's usually much easier when we see something again so i'm putting the top coat and you can see how much nicer it becomes and then give it a cure so very easy and now i'm going to paint that much quicker hopefully <laughs> so i'm just mixing my paint And then painting the first wing. the tiny tiny wee wings and we've got the first one I think it will be also nice to paint a little bit more like a half a butterfly or something and another half in here You can always decorate it with some tiny wee dots to make it even prettier. I'm just going to keep my butterfly butterflies plain just because it's something slightly different. Normally I fill up my butterflies with lots of lots of dots. And then again a hit. And a body. This one is not visible. Now let's paint antennas. Actually, I will skip the head on this one. Getting a flying brush. <laughs> and then another antenna just in here. And that's this butterfly finish as well. I show you the one which is cure. So we've got a green one for collection. Also, you can see on this channel. Oh, come on, what is going on? Also, you can see on this channel all those snails I've gotten here as well, like how to create them. Then wait for the paint to dry. 
or actually I'm going to touch up the wings a little bit. Yes, you could see something on the end of my brush, which was constantly annoying me. So I'm just touching up the edges. It always makes the work much nicer looking. Actually, you could make it even longer. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. I'm just going to give it a little twist to this butterfly. And then wait it for it to dry and apply the top coat. So that's a very quick tutorial for you how to do a very simple one stroke butterflies. And I do really hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned something again from this channel. So this one is ready as well and I can just put it into the lamp. That's the most possible basic uh, one stroke butterflies. Very quick for a salon work but my, my clients really love it especially like if you do an ombre as a background because uh, it just looks pretty and effective and it doesn't take time like it's hardly any time spent on those type of butterflies so that's the finished results thanks guys for watching glittery hacks and bye for now mm -hmm.